So Milwaukee, which is located on Lake Michigan, just slightly above Chicago, we're kind of a small city in the Midwest, and we don't really have a signature sound, I believe. Do you think that we have a signature sound? No. So it's pretty eclectic and kind of all over the place, and I guess one could say that our sound, which is pretty maximalist, kind of goes all over the place as well. Derek and I used to play in uh, a band called the Fatty Acids, and um, we would play pretty regularly, and I think um, playing with a lot of other groups all the time may have, you know, helped helped shape our sound. I know I personally was influenced by bands such as uh, Sat Night Duets and uh, Dogs in Ecstasy and uh, Faux Fur, you know, groups that we were just on bills with and, uh, and you know, kind of on the same trajectory with, uh, which is true of you know, any city that you're involved in the music scene in, I would imagine. So we reached out to Paper Garden Records really on a whim uh, to see if they had any interest in working with us in the capacity to release any of the music. And they got back to us with um, a thing they're doing called Digs, which is where they are partnering up musicians with with companies uh, and doing a release in combination with each other to the benefit of a local nonprofit. So it was an, an idea that we were pretty interested in pursuing with them. We uh, just released our song Jellyfish with them and that was in partnership with a local brewery called Company Brewing and they actually made a beer that has our name Within the title, it's called The Gang's All Here, uh, and it's a double IPA. Really, really cool. Some of the money that went into the into the deal also went to a local nonprofit called Pathfinders, and they help um, unhoused youth with various services. Uh, so Jellyfish started in my bedroom, it was just a bass line and a vocal line, uh, but then I brought it to Josh here at his studio that we're outside of right now, Silver City Studios, and he added some drums and then he got some local musicians to, to play some parts as well. So you'll hear Matt Pappas playing that uh, surfy guitar line. Tracy MT is providing some wonderful back vocals and then Diamato also on some vocals as well as saxophone. So it started out as just a, a bass line and a simple melody and ended up into definitely something way cooler with everybody else involved. It's kind of got a, a, a Beach Boys vibe in that, you know, it's a very bubbly instrumental and uh, upon first listen, you know, you might think the lyrics are kind of going hand in hand with that, but they're actually a little bit cynical, perhaps, a little bit subversive, a little bit uh, dark in, you know, commenting on complacency. And literally putting your head in the sand. Okay. Yeah. You know, overall, I, I think it's a really fun, energetic tune, and uh, we're hoping you check it out. 